Hello everyone, it's Louisa and it's time for another monthly money chat and this time it's going to be all about my financials for May of 2021. So if you have not watched a monthly money chat from me before, basically I go over my personal finances for the month and tell you guys how I'm doing my savings goals and everything like that. And so if you are interested in viewing other videos like this, I have my playlist and they will be up above linked. And yeah, I just find personal finance super fascinating. So that's why I like to do these videos and Disney can kind of be an expensive hobby. So another reason I like to do these types of videos as well. Let's hop on into it. Uh, I'm doing this video super early in the month because I'm filming it on May 31st. I'm not spending any more and it's going up on June 1st. So we are keeping up to date with our finances. Woot woot. May was an interesting month for me because this is the first month I didn't work at all at the full-time job that I had since August. So this is the first time in a long time that I wasn't working at a full-time job and then my dance competition job working at dance competitions kind of finished up i am doing one this summer in july but that kind of finished wrapping up and then i also just had my work as a dance teacher so there wasn't a lot of income coming in for this month this is actually my lowest month in terms of income of the year so far um but i have been looking for new jobs new opportunities and kind of seeing what's next for me and i'm still in the process of figuring that out um but hopefully um our income and stuff will increase in the coming months but that's okay i've saved enough um and i have a bit saved up so there's kind of I have kind of a nice cushion to fall back on, which you'll kind of see as I go through my finances for this month. There wasn't as much coming in. What you gonna do? So let's talk about my savings. I have a goal to save $6,000 this year and we were still able to contribute that. I actually contributed the lease that I have all year so this was the month with the least amount of savings that I added to that but we still saved and we still saved triple digits so you know what that's still a win in my book so what I've been doing to save is that I have been using the budget mom 2021 savings challenges and I absolutely love them and so I did two challenges for May the first one that I did it was called make a word for the make a word challenge basically you would cut out all these letters you would pull out 15 and then you would make a seven letter word and then you would save the dollar amount of the seven letter word so I did that twice I did that on May 5th and on May 20th as it says to do and so um, the first time I did it I saved $35 that was the total of my word and then the second time I did a word I saved $50 because that's how much the word was worth so um, it was 85 altogether, and I enjoyed doing this challenge. It was kind of nice because it was only two times this month, and this is a month where I couldn't necessarily contribute as much to my savings because I didn't have as much coming in. So I did, I did like this. Or the other challenge was the budget category count. So basically you took the number of categories that you have in your budget. And so I have 13 on here, so I'm gonna look like a total liar. But what I meant to do this month was combine two categories and combine my bills in my other category or just put bills into my other category. So I was at 12, but I completely forgot about that. So that's why on my category totals, there's still 13 categories, but I meant to make it 12. Anyways, so I took the number of categories I wanted to have on my May budget, which was 12, and I took that times three, and so I was supposed to save $36, and I did. So that was also a nice little challenge, and that's why I wanted to do both, because I want to earn, with just the budget mom savings challenges, I want to earn um, over $100 um, for each month or save over a hundred dollars per month so i was happy by doing two challenges i was really trying to up my chances and then my mom also has been going through some stuff and she actually found um 
a few cards like birthday cards or Christmas cards or whatever to us that had money still in them from long ago and so I had a little bit of extra money that just kind of came to me that I did put in to this as well besides just the challenges and all in all I put $181 into my the budget mom savings category so woohoo definitely over a hundred dollars so i am happy with that and then what i was doing was i was taking out two hundred dollars from each paycheck i got from my full-time job and putting those into various savings accounts and whatnot but because i don't have that anymore that consistent paycheck I'm not doing that right now so if i'm adding to those accounts it's done kind of sporadically and if i'm like oh like let me do like 20 dollars here and whatnot so um hopefully when we get more consistent work then we will go back to that kind of a system so it's just been a little bit more sporadic with my savings right now but let me show you my savings tracker to six thousand dollars and i'll show you guys where we're at all right so the total amount that i saved for may was actually 511 dollars and so that is reflected up here all of these circles represent how much i saved in may now 511 divided by 60 that would be uh, only eight circles uh 10 is 600 and so you might be like why did you color in 10 the reason being is because based on other months sometimes um you know it it cuts off at um like a halfway point or something like that so with all the months added together we are at this point and in total right now out of six thousand dollars saved we have four thousand seven hundred and four dollars and eighty seven cents saved so we're about thirteen hundred away from that goal so that is what we're looking like we only have like two more rows to go whoops whoops so i'm kind of curious about when are we gonna finish this do you guys have a guess i'm gonna say we're gonna finish this by august i think that's a fair bet leave your guesses down below and now time to look at my spending and some category totals okay so here are my totals so the total that i spent including my savings because i like to track how much of my um savings as part of how much i'm spending um was two thousand one hundred and two dollars and forty cents the total money i spent without including my savings was one thousand five hundred and ninety one and forty cents and then my total income was one thousand one hundred thirty three and ninety six cents and then the cash flow and difference between the two was negative nine hundred and sixty eight dollars and forty four cents now this is definitely the worst cash flow that i've had all year um but as i said i have built up kind of a cushion um in past months so this looks like it really hurts but i do have a cushion um kind of saved and that i have been able to kind of um uh, improve so uh, this looks really bad but it's not gonna hurt me as much and then of course that is including with the savings if i took the savings out then it's not that much um difference of cash flow so there you go all right and then here are my category totals so snacks um and eating out that was higher than it was last month in april groceries was higher career was lower so that's good savings was lower unfortunately but hey we didn't spend any money on clothing and i'm in the process of you know trying to declutter and i'm starting with clothing so that's great spending went down woot woot uh, gifts went up um, health also went way up and the main reason why is because I did get put on a new medication this month and it is pretty expensive so that's why that number has gone up I was not foreseeing that happening um, bills is lower than last month and again I meant to combine this with my other category because um, I've made some changes and anyways completely forgot to do that donations is the same um, YouTube I spent less on YouTube than I did on in April so that's great so yeah it's just kind of hard right now because I am definitely figuring out the job situation and, and switching from one set of jobs to another set of jobs and just kind of figuring out what's next um, I feel like a lot of us are in this stage and, and maybe not but I just feel like 
now with people hiring, more places hiring, and people kind of getting back out into the world and more out into the workforce and stuff like that, um, things are just kind of changing financially for me and I wish I had answers, but I don't yet and that's okay. Hopefully, cross my fingers, I'll have some answers soon and kind of uh, have more stability financially, but I have been saving this past year, so we're good on that end. And so, yeah, this month is kind of a bummer. It's kind of my worst month financially of the entire year, but I'm still happy. We still saved money, um, put money away for other things, and so, you know, gotta be happy with that. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you enjoy these videos from me. If you find personal finance interesting, let me know for sure. And if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more content like this from me, hit that subscribe button. I upload every Tuesday and Saturday. And if you want even more of me, you can follow me on Instagram at louisa.ruby. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you again soon with a brand new video. Bye!